Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to learn about Azure Active Directory for application security. Yes, uh, within Azure Active Directory, you do have an option for registering your applications. When they register with Azure Active Directory, the application in the backend will create something called service principles. So these service principles are useful or it's an identity uh, which is created with your applications automatically. So what happens is the automated uh, process would happen in the back end this will grant the access for your as your resources so this access is restricted by a role based assigned um, assigned permissions can be given so that you can actually control what as your resources can have an access for these service principles so if you're going to do that in a minute or so and also there's something called a secrets when we talk about the secrets the applications will have a secret user id and password similar um, similar case where it's going to actually integrate these secrets with your applications so that if anybody is accessing the applications they can actually go and communicate with that secret so now when we talk about the overall integration of these three different components with your Azure Active Directory, you will need to you know consider for the security. So coming back to the security side, uh, since you have the service principles, you are actually no need to create your applications in a multi-tenant mode. When it's a multi-tenant mode, let's say you have another tenant, not your on-premises or a single Azure Active Directory, maybe you are supporting your client network. So if they have these application, you no need to create your user account. Instead, you can actually access the application with the help of service principles and the secrets so that it can be multi-tenant also can be managed. So let's understand uh, how this can be created uh, from the Azure portal and uh, we can grant access. So let's jump into the Azure portal. I've just logged into my Azure portal. I'm going back to my Azure Active Directory and within this Active Directory you have enterprise applications and also you have the app registration. As a first step I can actually create an app registration. So it's nothing but you are actually registering an application and when you create an application it actually creates a application ID um, and also in the back end is service principle. So let's try to uh, create a new registration with an application. Let's say demo2 as the application. So you can give your application name. Let's say this could be your HRMS or some other application. So you can give and uh, when you create your applications, you can choose whether this application is open for only your tenant or multi-tenant or you can open with multi-tenant as well as the personal Microsoft accounts also or just for the personal Microsoft accounts only. So in our case, I'm actually opening this application for within the organization of my Azure Active Directory. And coming back to the URLs, uh, you can ignore these. Uh, these are the, uh, this, this is for the authentication response for the URL. After successful authentication, the user would happen. So this knows to the developers, you know, how they are actually going to use this application, whether they are going for web or uh, native client mobile or desktop application, they will give this some kind of, you know, URL where it's going to communicate for the authentication purpose. So in our case, we are going to do a simple demo this is not going to be a coding demo but instead it's gonna actually give you an idea how you can actually create your applications and you can understand the key components of the uh, service work and the and the access part so now the application has created and this is the application so as a next step what i can do is i can actually create my secrets if at all you're actually working with your uh, certificates, you can actually upload your application respected certificates so that the authentication would happen on a certificate based for your client. So in my case, I don't have a certificate. So I'm going to actually create here a secret. I'll just click on a client secret and I can give here when it's going to actually expire. So in this case, I'm going to give here a demo or secret and uh, i can give as demo secret and it's gonna i'm okay with the expiring in one year time 
so this would actually generate this a key so this is a, a key which is nothing but a password kind of thing so what i'll do is i'll actually open a notepad and save it here for some time so that i can reuse this key so this is a secret which will be useful in terms of identity when it is requesting a token uh, this would be used it's like your application password so now we have an application which was registered within azure ad so what i can do is i can go to enterprise applications i should be able to see the applications that i have now so i have your demo 2 as well as the demo app so two of the applications are available and also within my uh, azure portal i have created already a storage account a simple storage account has been created and if i just go to the storage account a simple storage account and uh, within this storage account i have a services called queues so if you see here here the queue so within this queues i have created a queue with respect to the processing queue and within this i did actually added some of the add messages from here let's see um, demo 10 example so i'll just add it and have removed this encoded message uh, because it's going to be actually encrypted me text message so i just wanted to retrieve it as it is so i don't want that to be happen in code so i just gave so there are a few of the queues are in in the process so it's not yet processed and these information is stored within the uh, storage account called uh, uh, here and uh, within the storage account the, under queues it is stored so as a next step what i'm going to do is i'm actually granting permissions so if you remember what we have done is we have created within our azure active directory we have created this application and as part of the application it was actually created a service principles in the back end and we also created a secret now what we're trying to do is we're trying to grant permissions for this application uh, for another azure resource so in this case we are taking an example for storage account so within the storage account we are going to grant permissions uh, for this application so this application will uh, will communicate with storage account to retrieve uh, from queues all the queues which are in the in process so as i said this is not going to be coding a uh, lecture but you'll get an idea and you'll get how the things are working in the back end because uh, it's not purely coding based what we are trying to do but we are trying to retrieve the information from a client machine uh, where we don't have any connectivity directly with microsoft azure instead we are going to use actually a secret and the application id tenant id all that information to retrieve all these queues so that's a demo now i'll point to the storage account and within the storage account uh, from the access management that's all back i'm going to actually add a role here called uh, this these are the default roles if you have gone through the or back lecture you might have uh, know that these are the default roles so i'm going to actually use for the storage queues dot a contributor role which i wanted to take it because i'm going to actually work on only specific to the queues so i have taken this and if you see here i can actually search for the user group or service principle so in this case it's going to be service principle and my application name i'm going to give here if you see here there are two things are coming up so in this case i'm going to actually give here as a demo to that's my application two which we have created so once you select it here it will be listed and click on save so what happened is in the back end of when we created this application it was created a service principle with the same name so we granted permissions with the help of azure active directory on a storage account for with uh, respect to only queues so this application query to your storage account and with respect to the only queues and it should be able to pull the information so how do we do that now so as i said we are uh, not trying for a complete coding but we are trying to pull out the required information so for that there is uh, there are you know few things to be customized uh, let's say you need to actually uh, to, to query these things you can go through the azure documentation which was provided 
if you just go through this a simple uh, post it's a complex in fact if you haven't got any idea of git or python uh, it's going to be a little bit of complex but uh, just wanted to give you an overview what you can do is you basically need to install the python once you have installed the python you go ahead and install some of the modules uh, which needs to be um, available within the python so in my case i have already installed git so git is once it is installed you have these options so within the git gui i did actually installed all the required modules so if i just go to pip fridge i should be able to see here my uh, installed modules in this case the key is here as your storage account queue which is available also the identity specific so these two modules got installed and readily available uh, for me within my python and also i have already been using this uh, visual studio code so I'll just open that so this is my code visual studio code and within this also I did actually install the Python specific uh, extensions uh, directly from here so that all these Python extensions got installed and now I have written a code simple code that that actually it's gonna connect to my queues so to do that I need to actually import the specific module that's why in the first step i had actually imported uh, all these queues specific things so it's a simple command uh, you can actually install like this queue so if it is available it's going to install and you simply have to execute pip install as your storage uh, queue in case if you don't have a git just search for the git and once you have the git you can simply install these commands and also post to this i did also installed azure identity uh, module also and then if you see here i'm importing these things and then i'm going to processing for processing queue this is the name of my uh, queue so i'll just open up my azure portal and show you here within the storage account under queues you have actually created here processing queue so i'm actually giving the same name here so processing queue name is this so you can give your whatever the name you wanted and i'm actually using the connection string as uh, endpoint to connect or the https and the account of my storage account is storage account to will demo or whatever the name is available here that has been copy pasted in the code and for the endpoints i'm actually using code.windows.net as you know that um, queues.co.windows.net and the code.windows.net is the normal endpoints that you will anyway use it and and also i'm actually importing azure.identity and within this identity client secrets credentials i'm actually uh, importing so this will have later point i'm gonna actually recall my tenant id client id that's nothing but your application id and the application secrets so here i need to fill here my tenant id client id and app secrets so let's take the tenant id information here uh, which you can get it directly from here so this is your tenant so in my case this is my tenant and i'm gonna actually paste it this tenant information here so in fact i have already pasted and the client id is nothing but your application id so in your case what are the application you have created so in my case the application is demo2 so i'll just go here and this uh, demo2 application will have the application id so this is the application id i'm going to actually replace with whatever the application id you have and later point client secret so this is the secret that we saved in a notepad if you remember when we created in case if you have not it created or you lost it you can actually go back to that specific application and go to secrets and try to recreate that specific application so in my case i need to go if i want to recreate one more uh, one more specific application so i'll just go to a registration of my application so in this case demo 2 and under clients and secrets i should be able to actually click on new and then create it so this is why it is actually uh, showing as a secret that's why i did already copy this one so i'll just use this demo 2 a specific uh, key so 
I'll just enter this secret here and later point now if you see here I'm actually querying uh, to the connection string to connect it and uh, for the processing name queue name and the app application credentials so I have framed here to connect and then uh, it's gonna actually uh, this is actually a queue called client uh, a peak message is a queue which is part of actually from your uh, azure storage queues so uh, from here i'm actually printing the required information so i'll just run this uh, from here run current test file so when i click on this or i can straightforward run in a terminal so this is going to connect to that specific tenant and you see here all these information is coming up automatically so we were able to retrieve at least the five of the information messages directly from our azure storage account under queues whatever it was in processing queue we were able to retrieve but if you see here there are close to 10 but we were only retrieved five that's because we did actually here if you see here i did actually give as the maximum as the five messages only to be pulled so if i just go and set it here as the 15 example and click on save that's going to actually pull up one more time so i should be able to get it here more information you see here i get the full information now so i get all the messages that are in process or in the queue information i was able to retrieve it I will be sharing this script with you along with this lecture but the summary of this lecture would be you can create your applications within Azure Active Directory and you can secure them by granting permissions with the help of service principles and their applications passwords can be stored with the help of uh, secrets nothing but either your passwords or your certificates and you should be able to retrieve the application from the client side the application with the help of your secrets and tenant id and other information if it is available so i hope this lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this